Hey seniors, the mighty class of 2020. I hope you're doing well on today and I'm so grateful to be doing this video um, for you. It's for you. Thank you, Ms. Abel um, and everyone else involved in this project for allowing me to just come and share and give you some encouragement. My name is Candace Johnson and I'm your Kia Outreach Counselor. I've been at your school on several occasions talking about keys money, helping you with your FAFSA, helping you in terms of looking for scholarships, all the things. But I'm not gonna talk about that today. I want to share with you just some tips and some encouragement that I pray is helpful um, to you in this season. So I just wanna tell you that you are resilient. You, yes, you are resilient. You have purpose inside of you. Um, there's great plans inside of you. Yes, yes, there are. And so I want you to think about these things. Um, I'm gonna give you about four things to think about or things to do. And forgive me for looking down, I'm looking at my notes so I don't get too long-winded, I'll say. So number one, I want you to think about what are your dreams? And don't put any limitations on that. Where money is not an issue, let's say that you have everything you, that you need for your dream to come true. What does that look like, right? You've probably heard people say, you know, what's your five-year plan or 10 years from now? Okay, yeah, that's what I want you to do. I want you to think about five years from this date, whatever date you're watching this video, what do you want your life to look like? And write it down and be as detailed as you can be up to what you're wearing, where you're living, what car you're driving, the career that you have, all the things, okay? Um, what are your dreams, your passions, and your goals? Then I want you to think about who have you been called to help? You know, some of you all have been called to maybe work with children. You just have a knack for young people. Or some of you all are like me, you love to talk. So you know that whatever you do in your life, it has to involve people. It has to involve connecting with others and sharing information, talking things out, okay? So who have you been called to? Think about that. Number three, how do you want to help? And I kind of talked about that in number two. I mentioned you have you know, greatness inside of you. You have natural gifts and abilities. So that is where you can tap into how do you want to help? How do you want to make an impact, okay? And I definitely want you and encourage you to write that down too. And number four, walk in grace. Okay, Candace, what does that mean? That means don't do all the things in one day. You may have a lot on your list, especially um, as you're closing out this school year, which definitely looks different from what anyone ever imagined. But don't do everything in one day. You are not even built to do all those things, right? So um, get your plan together as far as the things that you want to accomplish on today. And if you don't get it all done, it's okay, but definitely figure out what's priority and get those things done. And priority might be taking a break, you know, getting your mental health together, taking a walk, calling a friend that you haven't heard from or someone that is definitely having a hard time dealing with everything that's going on, right? So make those things a priority. Make what matters most the priority. Put one foot in front of the other. That's what I mean by walking in grace, not running ahead, but just really one thing at a time, okay? So um, the last thing I really want to share is that, you know, a lot of times we're looking for the end result. You know, we know there's things that we want to do because we're thinking ahead to, okay, this is the impact that it's going to make or it's going to allow me to do this and do that or make this amount of money. But I just want to encourage you that you taking the step, you doing the next thing, and it could be one thing, that is the result. That is the progress. So that really goes back to what I said in number four is walking in grace. So just wanted to tell you that I'm proud of you. Keep going. Um, you have so much inside of you, and I just encourage you to tap into those strengths. This is Candice. Like I said, I mentioned um, I work for Kia. And if, if you have questions about college, about financial aid, and just want to know more about the resources that we offer as the state of Kentucky, your keys, money, all that good stuff, please do not hesitate to reach out. I'm at home. So I definitely can do a Zoom call, Google, FaceTime, text message, email, phone call. I think I already said phone call. But anyway, 
you can reach me, okay? I actually saw one of your peers and hopefully he watches this video because I told him to watch it um, at his job and I told him the same thing. I said, reach out, let me know I can help and tell your friends, tell your friends that may not watch this video that they can reach out and get in contact with me and I'll have my information below. All right, class of 2020, mighty class of 2020. I'm proud of you.